Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. I get a run ahead, make sure Brian wasn't talking about the Summer Olympics with as warm as it has been recently. Kidding. But tonight, uh, we are 18 degrees colder than we were last night at this time. So the temperatures are dropping. The trend is down. The cold front is on the doorstep. 49 right now at Bartlesville, 52 in Tulsa, 55 at Oak Mulgee, 52 at McAllister. It's 45 at Coffeyville. This front will push all the way to the south tonight. The winds will turn out of the north. They'll start to pick up by morning. Maybe out of the north at about 15 miles an hour, so it'll be blustery and cold at the bus stops. 38 and definitely need a hat, some gloves even on top of that. As you'll notice, these northeast winds here at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, 10 to 15 miles an hour, and they increase as we head into the afternoon and into the evening hours. So that's an annoying wind, one of those types of winds that you like to stand with your back against that wind. Facing it, it'll even feel colder as the wind chill values will likely be in the 30s for parts of the day, even if we can make it up to about 51 or 52 for the high tomorrow. So the wind chill values in the morning are in the 30s, uh, 40s at noon time, and we barely, I don't, we don't even get back to what it will actually feel like. If it's 52, it still feels colder than that with a mix of sun and clouds. The Wednesday to Thursday fire risk because of the north winds and the drier air coming in, It'll be on the moderate side, and we do have some burn bans to talk about. A seven-day burn ban has been declared uh, by the county in Sequoia and Lafleur, Pushmataha, and also in McIntosh County. And then look at this, a 30-day ba burn ban for Haskell County. This goes all the way till March 7th. So with an extended period of dry weather, there's a possibility that that will make a, go all the way into March. Right now, we have uh, partly cloudy skies. It's 52 degrees. Light north wind at 3 miles an hour, the dew point at 37, so that dry air is coming down there. Tonight, cold front with scattered clouds will drop to 38. Winds will pick up by morning. 33 in Independence tonight, 40 in Pryor, 42 in Grove, 44 at Okmulgee, 38 at Bristow, lower 50s across our southern counties. And so tomorrow, it's just a cold, blustery day, even with the sunshine, but no rain or anything like that. A cool middle, a lunchtime temp as you head out for lunch at 52 degrees. Coming home from work, it's 52, but it's sunny with an edgy wind, and the wind will, the wind will settle down tomorrow night, and the temperature should drop uh, almost down into the mid-20s by Thursday morning. High temperatures tomorrow, low 40s at Independence. I think the uh, computer data is really underplaying the extent of this cold air. It's going to push farther south, and it'll be colder. 51 in Bristow tomorrow, 55 at Muskogee, 60 at Stigler, and 59 at McAllister. So some of these forecast highs are in the mid to upper 50s. I think it's going to be colder than what we imagine, and it's really going to feel colder with the wind. 25 Thursday morning, 48 Thursday afternoon, a very chilly day Thursday. But the winds turn to the south on Friday, and we warm up to 74. And then Saturday, you're looking at temperatures in the mid 80s, probably one of the five warmest February days on record. 56 on Sunday with a decent chance for rain. If it does happen, we're going to get a nice soaking. 52 on Monday and 58 on Tuesday. With regard to that wind tomorrow and the wind chills, make sure you tune in. Watch Kirsten Horn and uh, John Haverfield. John will be out and about telling you how cold it feels. Well, Kirsten will be safe inside the studio telling you how cold <laughs> it feels, but she'll join <laughs> Daniel and tonight starting at 4.30. Not a much different tune tomorrow morning than what we've seen lately. Yeah, this morning was almost humid outside. Yeah, yeah. it is. Notice it definitely.